I wanted to film because we still have a little bit for um, me and my dad leaked. Hopefully find my crush. So I decided to film this video which is, this is not in any way me bragging or anything. This is all my dance stuff that I have, what it's used for and stuff like that. Now a few things like my dance bag and I can't reach like it's on that top shelf and I don't use it but I do have like a dance bag that I have yet to use. I used it a little bit at one point but we're going to start with this bin because this is where a lot of the actual equipment and then all like clothes and stuff we'll talk about. First up, dance blocks. I love dance blocks. They, um, we got them off of like Walmart or Amazon, I forget which one, for like $9. And they're really nice because what they are used for is working on over stretching, which is over splits. Now there's two different things that I know of right now. For overstretching, which is dance blocks, and then there's um dance ladders. I do not have a dance ladder, but I do have dance blocks, and so it's to work on getting your oversplits. Fun fact: this is something that I learned from Abby, which is that. I always thought you had to learn like your splits before you could learn your over splits and actually I was wrong on that. Actually over splits are easier to do than splits because what you're doing is a lot of the times the issue with splits and that especially for me is getting both legs flat on the ground. So with this over splits you don't have to. One leg kind of raised up and stuff. So over stretching is really good. Abby recommends it and stuff. And that's really good. In here is the next thing. I'm going to actually take time to actually like show you. And I'm going to re-roll this up because it's done really, really bad. Okay. Well, the end is actually good. This is my multi-loop stretching band. I had a hanging stretcher, but um, due to the fact that I kind of got to where I had my tilt and stuff, so I didn't really need the um, hanging stretcher anymore, really. And, and so I gave it to a little girl that I teach dance. With like a bunch of stuff, uh, stuff so for dance because I want her to be able to like actually start off with stuff because when I started dance I didn't really start off with anything like dance wise like I had my dance bag and that was it and the reasoning behind that I even had the dance bag was. Because um, when I was like maybe like eight or nine or something, I forget when, but somewhere around there for um, Christmas for me and then for Bella's sister's birthday, my mom got us these bags and I got one that was like pink, blue, and green and then... Her, then um she had one that was like blue, green, and some other. I think it was just blue and green. I love this multi loop stretching there, and it does a ton of different things to help stretching and stuff. And this is not me bragging, but um she when she bought it she didn't realize it was a dance bag, and that worked out for now. Next up, oh, we have a good one. 
my Wadukas. Now these have a story behind them. And so for Valentine's Day, I wanted two things. And I wanted hair extension. Ended up getting the wrong ones. I got some that were like a party pack. So like for like a birthday party. I wanted one for every day. And also they were like not the most comfortable and stuff. Oh, he threw them away. But um, the main thing that I wanted was Laducas. Which is a pair of specialty made. I hear now you're probably like, what's so special about them? They have a special type of sole and stuff built to hold up for dancing. And they're really nice. And so, literally for Valentine's Day, like, I want to say like the day before Valentine's Day or something. And, or a few days before. Um, because it got to where now my parents let me like, they give me a budget and I get to like just pick out what I get for Valentine's Day because it works out better because around Valentine's Day usually there's something specific that I want and stuff. And so we went with more of like a $30. So we got some um, and these were from an actual dance store which meant a lot to me because a lot of the time my dance stuff comes from like Walmart or Amazon. At one point I had some from Target and stuff so it was from like a natural dance store. But they're really nice. They're just, they don't really have a purpose other than that they are good for more challenging dance. Now this is something that my sister has asked about. So this is a ballet disc and it's kind of like a turning board Here's what it looks like, back side, front side. So for those who don't know what turning board is, it's like a, it's this stick type thing that you put your foot on and if you put it, you have to put it on a certain way or else you'll like lean forward or lean back. Like, and it's to help you learn how to do turns, like turns in place and stuff. Well. This is kind of the same thing. But this one is just a different shape. And this was $13 on Amazon. And I love using this. I use it on carpet because I tried it on hard floor and I got super scared because it was turning so fast and I was starting to like slip and like fall out of my turn and it was a wreck. So I love using this on cart. And it's basically just to work on turns, different types of turns. That's literally what it done. Next up, we got a pair of cheater shoes. I love cheater shoes like so much because uh, they're great for dancing and they're kind of not really for a specific style of dance. Like Laducas are for like mature dancing like when you get really good at dancing and then you can try Laducas to dance in heels and make it more challenging. Cheaters you kind of don't have a specific style that I know of but they're really great for just dancing and that way my feet don't stick to the floor and st because there have been times when I'll like start dancing yeah. Like, I'll be dancing around the house or something, and my feet will all of a sudden, I'll do, like, a turn or something. And my feet will, like, grip onto the floor, and then it's not the, it's not very fun. Then, you got, like, a few. We got my point shoes. These are for ballet. And then... We got this thing, which I still have. It was supposed to be the dance here, but I use it as silks. And then the last thing in here are these dance shoes that my mom got me for my birthday. 
No, I'm going to put everything back in here. And then, yeah. So, my mom got me for my birthday these dance shoes. We don't know what they're for, though. Because at first, or she said, oh, they're ballet shoes. And I'm like, they're not ballet shoes because I own ballet shoes before. And ballet shoes you can turn in. And st so, we have no clue. They never get used. But... I like to keep them just because um, I can, I feel like one day if I'm like going to dance, like I feel like one day when I like actually like stop doing Zoom stuff and I start doing in-person like dance stuff, um, maybe I can just wear them on my way and like to the studio and stuff like that. And they're nice shoes, it's just, they're not really dance shoes that I know of. And then at first I kind of started thinking maybe they're jazz, but then I realized jazz usually is like tennis shoes, I'm pretty sure. And I know hip hop is tennis shoes. I know what ballet shoes are, and I know with ballet, there, there's ballet shoes, and then there's point shoes, which is for more mature dancing. And so, then there's a lot of different things. Anything, so I have no clue what they're for, but I do like. Now, I'm not going to be pulling out my dance clothes, but I will be talking about that. The reasoning is because my two piece dance outfit, which is what I'm going to start with, is in the washing machine. Also, the rest of it is really nicely like put into a drawer, so I don't want to mess it up. Oh, wait, um, I forgot one. Let one second. I forgot a piece of dance equipment, which is this. It's a hair tie, I know. But one, um, it's a hack. So what happened is, I always keep a hair tie with me now on, like, our Monday classes. Because what happened was that, uh, like, I want to say, like, it was one of our first weeks or something. And at some point, I had dance class with Miranda on, like, a Monday. And what ended up happening was she taught us the hair tie hat. And I freaked out because I'm like, I don't have a hair tie. So I pulled the hair tie out of my hair. When, at nor the TV. The TV's playing in the background and it's annoying. But um, she taught us the hair tie hat, which when we dance, a lot of the times your feet have to be separate for different things, like releve and just for a lot of different things, your feet have to be separate a lot of the time. But sometimes with certain things, your feet have to be together. They're like touching. And so um, that's really hard to make that adjustment usually. Now, for me, it's not that hard, but I like the hair tie hack anyway. So, you take a hair tie with this specific kind. You do have to twist it a couple of times because this one is crazy stretchy. And then you put it on your ankles and stuff. That way, you can't really separate your feet. And... It's really nice because it's a good way to train your feet. And she taught us a little, like, exercise to do with point and flex, which is two of the two very basic dance things that, like, if you're going to be a dancer, you have to learn how to point your feet and how to flex your feet. Although I feel like 
I flex feet doesn't ever, I, so far from what I'm learning, I don't think flex feet get used in less with anything except for warm-ups and stretch, like a warm-up and stretch. That's the only time I ever needed to have flex feet so far. So, yeah. Now, dance stuff, I have a two-piece dance up, and I'm obsessed with it because it's good. Like, it's fabulous. This is not me bragging. And, and then... And the thing about dance is that there's two different, well, there's three different types of dance outfits. Well, four. There's, there's leotards, which is like a one-piece thing, which I have a couple of them from my birthday because for my 15th birthday, the gifts I got a lot of from my parents with different types of leggings, sweatpants, and leotards and stuff. Dance clothes. But, um, there's leotards. Then there's a two-piece dance outfit, which is kind of like a two-piece bathing suit type vibe. And then, then there's costumes, which costumes can be like two-piece, one-piece. Like, there's different and then there's some that are more like dresses. And I have one which is a, I forget what, I forget what type of style, but it's like, oh, it's a flapper dress. It's like an 80s flapper dress or something. And, and kind of the story behind the dress, because it does have story. So when... Me and Bella's sister were little because we grew up like pretty much we were always around each other. And um, my mom made us a dress up box. So she would like go to like Goodwill and like different places and find like really cheap like adult clothing and stuff. Um, like stuff that like was way too big for us. For us. And she had this container that sat in the um like corner of my closet which had all of this stuff in so we could play dress up whenever we wanted. So we could play dress up and stuff when we wanted to and so this dress the one day we were going grocery shopping and the place, there was a place next door that was, was having, like, a clothing sale. Like, it was kind of like a, it was like a Goodwill type place, I think. I don't really remember. But she, we, me and her went in there, and we found a bunch of things, and that was when we got the dress, and we got for the dress-up box. And then it was, like, my favorite thing in the dress-up box, because it's a really pretty dress. And somehow, to this day, it finally fits me. Like, to this day, it finally fits me, because I, I could never wear it. We always would have to put a hair tie on the back, because it would fall off of me. It was so big, so we would hair tie it, tie it to make it fit me. And then... Then, so now, like, I just love the dress. And I was thinking about the other day, and I went, like, maybe this was, like, a sign or something. Like, maybe when I'm, like, maybe I was meant to be a dancer. And, like, somehow this dress, because we found out we were talking about to, um, our old, or my old dance teacher for one time. She's not old, but, like, I, she used to be my dance teacher for a little while, not at like a studio or anything, but like, yes. And then what happened was that um, we were talking about and she was like, yeah, that sounds like an, an 
80s flapper dress. And so now, like, I look back on it and I'm like, maybe this was a sign I was meant to be a dancer because we kept it for all these years. For literally just the reasoning that I like it. So yeah, I have a lot of different leotards, leggings, and stuff. One of my favorite go-tos is a two-piece dance outfit, but if next to that would be a leotard and like sweatpants or leggings and stuff. So yeah, again, this was not me trying to brag. It's just trying to. Also, I do have a mat which gets used mainly for acro, and then or. It doesn't really get used for acro. It kind of gets used for me attempting to do acro. And then I do have the dance hammock, which is for doing more difficult stuff. I'm, peace out.